Hi guys, I'm GTX and welcome to a PAL World tutorial. So you guys, if you did start playing this, you know uh, this is the first boss. It's over here on the map. Uh, let me just put it off. It's over here on the map. You start over here. Um, it's the first world boss you're going to fight. And it's trainer, I guess. And yeah, today I want to speak to you guys about which PAL to use. Uh, if you go into the survival guide, go to elements. Now this is an electric pal you're going to be fighting in this arena. And usually you'll just take a ground type because ground is good against electric. But um, the pal world creators, they were kind of smart. So they gave the electric boss you're fighting a grass type ability. Or, or a few. Sometimes uh, it throws out a few. So you'll see, if you use a ground type uh, against this electric, it's going to have some grass type abilities, which is also going to be strong against your ground type. So, what I suggest you do, is you get a grass type pal to fight the electric boss. Just for the simple reason, if he, it uses grass type's abilities against your grass type, it, wo it will just do normal damage, it won't do any extra damage. I think it might even take a little less damage. I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, so what I have here today for us. Um, this is a different world though. It's not uh, my playthrough. You can go check it out on my channel. I have a Power World playthrough. Uh, a modded playthrough. <laughs> so yeah, we have a Bristol here. Um, I just picked Bristol. As you can see, we have two level 1s and then we have a level 16. Um, I just uh, picked Bristol because if we go here and if you check the habitat, you start you start over here. Usually, you can spawn in other places. Once you've started here, you can. There's other spots like these two islands, these two islands, and these two islands where you can actually start off from. I mean, you spawn in here usually with the intro and everything, but you can kill yourself and pick uh, spawn points over here, over here, or over here. But yeah, that's besides the point. So, Bristol is one of the uh, pals you can actually get, um, not super early on, but decently early on. I'm guessing around, when you get around level 14, 15, might even be able to do it around 13, I if you have some decent uh, fire pals with you. But as you can see, they spawn all around here and they spawn during the night as well, all around here. So you can get them 24 7 in this island uh, up here, just above the raid zone, the raid area, raid uh, forest, or whatever it's called. But yeah, so you can get them easy. And if you do uh, find some of them over, the over here, they usually spawn around level 16, level 17. I think I've seen a level 18 as well, but I just went with the level 16 because that's the lowest I've seen. And yeah, we're going to use these guys today, test the level 1s out. I braid them so I can get them to level 1. Now, the other thing you do need is you need to um, get uh, abilities on them. Um, I just went for, obviously, the ground type because we need those. On the level 1s, I just put uh, all three abilities on them. It's the skill fruit that you can use on them, like these ones. Um, semi I'm semi in a creative mode here, so I have a bunch of them. Uh, these are the three I found. Uh, Stone Cannon, Sand Blast, and Sand Tornado. So I just chuck that on these two. And then the level 16 one that uh, I caught in the wild. I just go uh, in here. You can see it has no passive skill, so I'm doing this with no passive skill. You maybe get some passive skills that would be a beneficiary uh, to fighting this boss, but I went for no passive skill, and I do believe I do have no passive skills on the level ones as well, just so it's a base level test. Um, I put my weakest uh, skill fruit that I had on here. It's a uh, 40 power. Uh, 4 CT uh, Sandblast and then I just left the other two basic abilities. It actually came with an ice ability as well um, 
by default when I caught it it had this ice ability as well uh, we're not gonna put those on yeah so it has wind cutter and a seed machine gun two basic abilities you can get with her or him in this case if you catch them out in the wild now you can catch them where they actually have a ground type ability already so if you catch one of those you're lucky you don't have to go searching for skill fruits but if you don't you can always go look for skill fruits I'll put a little map uh, up for you guys in just a sec just to show you uh, where you can find the skill fruits okay so yeah there's the skill fruits for you guys the location of the skill fruit trees I mean uh, you can just go and collect some skill fruits off there so yeah we have a level 1 Bristol here I did uh, star it up as you noticed over here it's a 1 star level 1 Bristol so it'll have a little bit more health and attack and stuff like that um, it says passive skill plus 34% on the attack I don't know where that came from uh, let's check the other one this one I made is 2 star because you can easily get a 2 star you just have to catch like uh, 20 20 of these bristols uh, plus the one you want to level up so 21 uh, level 1 you only need 4 to get it to a 1 star so you only need to catch 5 of them the one you want to use and 4 more let's quickly check here uh, when in team increases attack power of cross spells ok so they do increase each other's uh, power let's get into it uh, we're gonna test it out we'll start with a 1 star level 1 Bristol and then we'll see I'm just gonna skip the intro you guys don't need to see that uh, let's just get to the one star let's check this out see if this actually works uh, you want aggressive yeah okay cool so I'm not gonna help out I'm try not to be uh, a distraction as well so okay yeah our one star got wrecked let's go to the two star one level one I mean they are only level one so I'm not expecting them to do too much uh, nope Chris Bolt leave me alone I guess I need to go close so he does his attack and he can leave me alone come on Chris Bolt focus my pal oh he's just solidly focusing me like they're not doing too much damage since they're level 1's Get out of the way of that. There we go. Grisbolt's back on uh, Brist Bristol. Uh, killed it. Okay, cool. Now we're going to take the level 16 that we caught in the wild. Ow. Just throw her out. and see what she can do. She's doing a little grass attack. Now we're seeing some good damage being done. You can also um, pal sphere them. Ugh. I don't know why Grisbolt keeps going for me. <laughs> He really doesn't. Uh, he, he really does hate trainers, I guess. There we did 513 damage with a attack. Now, when she gets a little low, I'm gonna pull her back. I'm gonna put uh, all three Earth attacks on it, and we'll check that out if that's any good. Because she's only using the one now that does like 500, 440 to 500 damage. I'm gonna pick her up here. I'm just scared he might kill her. So let's see, let's see. She's doing decent. She's level 16. She has the one ability currently doing uh, good damage. The other one's like that 438 that she just did. Okay, just do your shit. There you go. Now I'll go back on to my pal. Thank you. So yeah, she's doing pretty good. Her health is actually nice. Uh, keeping up. Not doing too much damage. Crisp also not doing too much damage to her. Just trying to stay out of the fight. She's already done almost 10k, almost there. Almost done 10k damage. I guess the other ones did like little, but the, but that's not been too much. Ooh, that ability actually gets her down quite quite a lot. Uh, now I do believe I do have uh, good uh, healing, so you can see her healing. 
quite decently. It's just uh, one of the settings before you create your game. So I might have to take that off. But as you guys can see, level 16 doing decently. And you can obviously level her as well. But as you see, he can't crit her. He's doing the lightning damages. And I haven't seen him do a grass yet. Might have already done a grass attack. That's electric. Just see. See if I'm actually right. I'm pretty sure I've seen these uh, grass bolts do a grass attack. Just because it's good against the ground. Which uh, would be your first choice to fight the electric with. He's doing a big laser beam. Okay, that was our ability. Let's see. Now, as you can see, uh, the Burstall is doing work. It's got him down, almost down to 10k left. Ah, she missed her good ability. She's doing good. So yeah, that's uh, just my suggestion. I'm actually going to pull her back quickly. Um, I want to quickly add the other two abilities for her. Let's see if we have a full ability set. Now like I said, these are only the ones that I had. So I'm just chucking them on. Let's see, with three abilities, how fast can she take down the last uh, 11k? She only throws out... Uh, High damage abilities against them. Ooh, the sand tornado is real good. There we go, got her down to nine. Oh, 788 with the stone throw one. Nice. Tornado again. Down to 6k HP. So, yeah, you can do it with a level 16 Bristol. I'm pretty sure. I mean, you can pull her back when she gets hit and everything. You know, when he does these big laser beams or whatever. Or even though jumpy attack, that did quite decent amount of damage to her. I'm not going to pull her back since she has better heals. Uh, she put laser. Uh, the sand tornado is a real good one. And there you go. Just like that. Bristol. Beating the first boss. Quite easy. Easy to get, you can catch her on level 16. Just uh, go out and find some of uh, the skill fruit. You'll get some ground skill fruit, I'm pretty sure. Now, you might need a flyer to do that since uh, they're scattered all over the map. So, you might need a flyer to go to those. Even if you just do the two that's close to you, um, you can maybe just constantly. Um, since you get a, f uh, since you got a flyer, you can constantly just check them. I think they don't spawn every day in Power World. I think I must test it out. I'm guessing like five or ten days in Power World, then they respawn or something like that. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that, guys. But you can get like even one tree. You can just keep checking it until you get a nice ground ability or a few of them, and chuck it on Bristol. Defeat the first boss quite easily because uh, it won't do any crit damage to you or extra damage because you're using a grass type. You can also use uh, what, who was it? Uh, Floppy. Uh, she spawns in the same area as Bristol, as you can see over here, uh, night and day. S uh, you can also use Floppy. I just went for Bristol because uh, she had a little bit more health than Floppy from uh, base stats. So, yeah. Uh, and then eventually you can, if you got a Mosanda, maybe an egg or something, they will find over here they're a little bit more difficult to take down since they have more HP and stuff. So, it'll be a little bit more difficult to catch them um, at level 15. Uh, they're going to be decently leveled. I think they're in the 20s or something. But you can also use one. Maybe you got an egg that had one in, which is awesome. Then you can also use this one. Just use a grass type of uh, pal. Add, add some uh, ground attacks to it and you'll get it easy. I would not suggest doing Gumos because Gumos is uh, a little weak. Uh, he's very squishy, doesn't have a lot of health. And Tansy as well. 
uh, and left monk because they like those super starter pals but yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope it was informative for you guys uh, if you did enjoy leave a like subscribe and like I said I am doing a pal world modded playthrough it's going pretty quick since the mod helps out a lot and you guys just have a good day and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Bye.